Good evening, Neha. Good evening, ma'am. How are you? Good, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? I'm also good, thank you. So I think it's like after some two weeks around we are meeting. Yes, ma'am. One was, I think, Jan Mashmir. What was the second reason? Some other holiday. Raksha Bandhan, Raksha Bandhan yeah. it was. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so let us wait for some two more minutes. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Harshit. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? I'm also good. Thank you. Okay, so children turn on the video. Okay, so today onwards, we will be starting with a new chapter, which is uh, getting to know plants. All right. Okay. Bhavesh has a new excitement. Okay. So, uh, getting to know plants, we will be starting. And I think like everywhere around you, you can find them, right? So, without them, we cannot even survive. We cannot live. And we cannot breathe also because we are getting oxygen from them. So, they are the very, very, very important a kind of the resources which God has given to us, right? So, but sometimes what happens, like, you know, knowingly, unknowingly, we are not making use of it or make, or I can say like, you know, overuse we are doing of it, right? So sometimes we are excessively using it. Sometimes we are not taking care of them. So in that case, then we have to actually face a side effect of it, right? So uh, my DC, you might have heard about the flood, right? Flood will be coming. So what is the reason of the flood? It is because of the plants only. When the plants are not there to hold the water, then they will be flowing. Correct? So that is the reason for the flood coming out. So in the different areas, uh, the amount of the water is more, but certainly the number of the plants are less. So that is why it is important that uh, they should have, actually we should all uh, together should take care of the plants. And I think like, you know, we all should take one initiative, like whenever you have your birthday, maybe Neha has, Bhavesh you have, or Harshit you have, on that particular day, try to grow one plant actually. Fine. And just see, year by year, just see how much the growth of the plant has been done. And you know, the moment when you will grow up, maybe you reach to 20 years or 21 years, or maybe you'll get married and go to the college, you will feel so happy by looking at that, you know, plant. Like this, that was a plant actually grown by you, right? So yesterday, actually, I was, you know, looking to a video kind of, small video kind of thing was there. I don't know like whether you have seen or not. It is in Hindi actually. So uh, in that video, it was actually about a school. In the school, the principal was there and uh, the kids were there, right? And the principal was about to retire, get retired, okay? So each and every kind of the uh, plans are taken care by the, uh, the person, the other person and all. But some of the plans are taken care by her. Some of the trees, like, you know, she personally as a principal take care of those plants. So a group of 2025, actually, they have, you know, shown us the... 2025 years so the those uh huh the future yeah the future actually the future actually so 2025 year that those girls are studying in that class particular class and then uh she actually uh, you know wished that a principal and she gave one biscuit also like you know to, she offer one biscuit to principal and she take it and she start moving to the ground where the trees are there 
now she started following the principal like you know where she is going and the moment uh, she reached there she found, she found that you know that the principal herself she's taking care of that particular trees then she got a doubt like you know every time every uh, the same time she used to go and take care then next time when she reaches there then she asks actually you know some other person like what happened like why she is taking the care of these particular trees but not other other plants and all so then she said that they are actually you know they uh, they are like some of the names of the kids they have she has used actually uh, that lady other lady not the principal the other one other one other person has used the name of the children that this is this one this is this one this is this one this is this one this tree actually they were mentioning the name of the student as a tree so uh, then she said like how come then that lady explained that these actually are the plants when that year 2020 kids they were leaving the school in the memory of them they have given to the principal okay and that those plants they have planted in that area and daily because you know it was given by so love and affection so she was taking care of them personally fine so that girl actually she thought of some plan what she did is like uh, she was about to retire as i told you so on the day of the retirement what she did she called all those children like 2020 back years she got the number from somewhere and she called those children so what those children they did those actually the trees actually were like you know, the name of the trees were there they were standing behind that tree and one by one those like you know they they the children they called them out like the principal they called them out and out in the area where those uh, trees were planted then she was like one of the guy come uh, like out of the plant out of the tree and he actually wished her so she wasn't actually recognizing like who is that kid uh, like who is that person so she was like ah, sorry i am not able to get you who are you so she said ma'am from 2020 batch rf gupta like this you know and then second person came out then she explained the third person like this you know, from every tree tree uh, the, the the children they started coming out and now actually they were like somewhere at the good position so that was actually as a kind of gesture the 2025 girl she did for the principal and she was so happy that uh, whatever she did for the kids ultimately she is getting back in the form of the something or the other thing so that was actually a short kind of the movie and which was very 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 good so we also like as a maybe as a teacher or as a student you all like in your school you might have you know some of your favorite teachers so teachers day is coming what you can do maybe a small plant you can give you know to them so maybe see i i, I don't say like every teacher will be planting it but they certainly out of two maybe one will be doing it and you can tell them ma'am this is a plant for my side and you can do the planting for that like if you want to so it can be a small gesture from your side so if you want actually that is my suggestion so if you wish you can do that so that is about the you know about the plants like how important they are and an important uh, it has a values also it is connected to us also right so that is what it is there yeah. in the chapter we will be learning about the different paths starting from uh, the normal root system the shoot system and do you know what are the flowering plants and non flowering plants uh harshit adya neha do you know what are those yes sir okay what are those mam the plants which uh, have flowers and like mam i know mam uh, they have the flowers yeah yeah those are those are called flowering plants and the flowers the plants which don't flower mm -hmm. are called non flowering plants okay any other uh, any other difference do you know harshit related to this flowering and non flowering apart from this flower difference Yes, Ashit. Any other difference, like the flowers? That is correct. Yeah, what you said. Yeah. Then the plants do not have fruits. Which will do not have the fruits? The non-flowering or the flowering? Non-flowering plants. Non plants. Correct. Fine. So the non-flowering. Say okay. So let us discuss first of all. See, when we talk about the plants, they are also classified into two. Before reaching to the herbs, shrubs, and trees, they are before classified into the uh, flowering and non-flowering, depending upon the presence or the absence of the flowers. <clears throat> if the flowers are present, then they are called as a flowering plant. If the flowers are not there on that particular plant, then they are called as the non-flowering -flow non plant. The second difference is the flowering plant will always have the root, stems, and the leaves. Always they will have that. Whereas the non-flowering plant will not may have. Or will not. 
fine they might have they might not have the root stem and the leaf like uh, if i talk about algae i think you know what is algae right where it is present the algae where yeah. you can see the algae uh, like near water in the water actually in the water near the water around those green color structure fine they are called was they are the algae now those algae in those algae can you find out the root which part is the root which part is the stem no right such plant where the root stem or the leaf are absent or they might be present they are called as a non flowering plant the third difference they will have the flowering plants will have what the fruits and the seeds whereas the non flowering plants they will not have the fruits or the seeds see i'll say i am saying here they will have instead of that i can use the word bear b e a r which means the same thing okay now as we are growing we should also you know change the words like the the way we are uh, you know dealing with the keywords so instead of saying have they have the fruits we can say they bear the fruits fine it means on their body they are taking it they are keeping it on their body fine so they are uh, the flowering plants they will bear the fruits with the seeds whereas non flowering plants they do not bear the fruits with seeds fine then the flowering plants what happen since they have a different parts like root stems and the leaves their evolution as much what is evolution uh, from from plant changing to tree, like from plant to tree and development of a certain a living tree. thing okay a change okay change uh, neha also said change harsha said change uh, paila bhavesh has said the development right almost like you are correct but i'll say what happens actually uh, evolution is something is a process where it's a very slow process actually so where due to the changes in a particular plant or in a particular species after so many years the new species will be formed like for example like you might be knowing you might have studied in your uh, i think the history Mom? part Mom? yeah tell me yeah Mom, early humans early yes, humans actually. yes right so those were actually the gorillas chimpanzees and they converted the humans like that right same that is process of the evolution where so many years they have taken right when like gorilla were something different then chimpanzees were a little different from that then we came early humans have come then late so like this slow 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 kind of the changes they join together and ultimately after so many years billions of years after what happened the formation of the new species and this whole process is called as the evolution and in the plants also same thing happened like you know since we are saying different roots plant the stems are there other things part are there So slowly and gradually, those plants will not take million years actually, but yes, definitely they will take some of the years to get themselves converted or change into the some other species. Uh, have you ever heard the word grafting? Grafting, G R A F T I N G. No, right? I'll tell you what is that. Ah, uh, you might have seen sometimes in any videos also, like any person or in the farmers also. if you wanted to maybe like you know i like the red rose okay bhavesh like white rose neha like pink rose fine then harshit said anything is okay for me adha said anything is okay for me for me red for bhavesh what was the color white color right and neha it is pink color now what happen i have my plant bhavesh has his plant so we both are happy like we both have the plants but neha is not so happy so what i and bhavesh together we will be doing we will be doing the grafting process where we will be cultivating or we will be growing the pink color for her actually fine how it will be done now see i and bhavesh we both are friends what we will be doing i will be maybe i will be giving it to him or he will be giving to me any case is okay fine so maybe i will be requesting bhavesh that bhavesh since neha is our friend so we have to you know give her the pink color flower so in that case Bhavesh will said, "Okay, okay, I'll give you. I'll give you. Don't worry, I'll give you." He'll say to me. I said, "Okay, fine." So that stem from his white color rose, he will be cutting and giving it to me, with the node and internodes. Now, do you know what are the nodes and internodes? Yes. Fine. Yes. The um, nodes, the nodes are the place where you no, know, the leaf will be coming out. Fine. So two nodes together, we will be taking. Okay, he will be giving me that part happily. And what I know now, after taking his part. After taking his pink color, you know, oh no, no, white. Sorry, white color. The white color, the flower, along with the nodes and internodes, we both will go in our garden. With in my garden, actually, not his. Actually, 
in my garden will go and then in my stem i'll cut it and i'll insert his stem actually okay what i did i had the red color flower in that stem i just cut that part a little not complete stem Thank you.